Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of World of Horror. We're going to continue and do some new runs, exploring the patch. I think today I'm going to go for the box cutter and see what that's all about. Which might mean I need, I'll need to do like a failed run to start off with, just see which shops it's in and stuff like that. So, without further ado, I'll see you guys in the game. City of Shiokawa, Japan, 1980X. Something strange is happening in our town. Roped figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threats. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago, are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and adrenaline sandy, we'll investigate mysteries across the city and realms beyond. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world's at hand, and you finally arrived in the doomed town. Uh, not gonna do the commoner backstory yet. I think we're just gonna do... I don't know, a seventh curse run? Hello? Uh, let's, let's see... Does anyone have bonus damage with unarmed? I know Ayaka gets bonus damage, but I'm pretty sure it's just plus one. Or I think... No, she gets combat speed. I guess we'll go with Haru. I'm just gonna do the normal difficulty as well, so that we have even more cash money to work with. Cause Haru's gonna need cigarettes. Okay. And uh, I guess I'll just pick Athu Yashith. Media reports on various people with seemingly supernatural skills. Could I have any connection with the news about the stars disappearing from the night sky? So we got eight funds to work with. We got flesh regrowth as our spell, which is pretty damn good. Um, box cutter is definitely not in the vending machine. It's probably not in the occult shop. But we might as well have both those shops just in cases. Get the history club. You have a lot more doom to work with. It could be in the illegal den too. Okay. We're shot maxing. Okay, let's start off with the normal shop. So, foreign cigarettes. Ooh, looks good enough to me. Let's see, what does foreign cigarettes do? So we have zero cigarettes. 17 and we get nicotine rush. Okay, so it's just like five more cigarettes for one more fund. Yeah, that's okay. I'll shop again. Sewing kit, flashlight, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm gonna visit the illegal den. Oh, man, Ryoko. So good. Okay, the army knife exists. Champagne. Where's this fucking box cutter? Do we not have it? I'll give one more. I'll give it another one. Okay, it can't possibly be in the hardware store. So there's the meat cleaver. It's definitely not there, too. It's in the cult shop. Funny mask. What? Plus one stamina or reason at the beginning of a combat encounter? That's so fucking good. 
So I'm, I assume it happens every single time, right? That's ridiculous. Um, I'll give one more look. Tainted violin. Mr. Combat Actions? Well, what the hell? That's so good. Okay. Um, maybe it's in the pharmacy. Yeah, this run's definitely a loss. Ritual robe, funny mask, glass eye. Wow, ritual mask, robe, and dagger. Gruesome totem. Okay, what the fuck? Do we just not have the box cutter? Okay, three dream enemies the same way. Maybe we gotta do 10 damage with a single kick to get the box cutter? Unlocked? Is that even possible? I mean, Haru would be the one to do it, right? So, let's do some math. So he starts at two. Uh, let's say we recklessly struggle, so that's four. We have six points we've got to overcome. So, core strength, that's plus one. By the way, all bonuses just don't fucking multiply, which makes this very difficult. So, core strength, that's plus one. Uh, we could get Ryoko. Uh, Nicotine Rush adds another one. We could get the Attack Dog. We're up to eight. I can't think of anything more that would help. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. So four base, Kick Girl, Nicotine Rush, Core Strength, Attack Dog, which adds plus one all attack damage, pretty sure. And we'd need two more points of damage somehow. Where the fuck would we get two points more of damage? And Steel Box definitely is breaking the block box cutter. Maybe the real nightmare is the three dream enemies, but then it's like... Surely, surely that gives Cthulhu, because he's sleeping. Like what, is the fucking steel box going to give Cthulhu? Is the box cutter achievement going to give Cthulhu? Strong doubt, unless his friggin' trait is just related to punching. Now, I think... I think we're like missing something. I'll give it one more go, just see if I'm... I just got really unlucky with the RNG. So, Haru, money... Yeah, that's everything. Continue. Oh, we could get a Thotu, I guess. That would give us one more damage. I don't think uh, the Park Ranger Lady gives us punch damage. There's no fucking way the vending machine gives a box cutter either. I sort of think the cult shop could, I'm not 100% sure. And we might as well have the illegal den too. There's like one other possibility I can think of, and that's like the box cutter being in the background or something, like the school nurse or the history club. 
So I'm pretty sure History Club Girl box cutters you, but I'm not 100% sure. It could just be a Ritual Dagger. <laughs> pretty sure you don't get the box cutter from the Schoolyard Girl. It, it makes very little sense that you'd get the box cutter from the School Nurse, so I'm just going to not have that. Crimson Cape, found footage, whatever. There's one thing that I can think of, maybe, and that there could be like a consumable. That gives plus damage. Uh, is, is it actually in the background of the History Club? Can I loot your pockets? Oh, you know what? There is a way to get more damage. And that is to get the one ritual spell. Uh, there's a spell called like ritual strength or some shit. Steel Savish is not the spell. Flesh Regrowth is not the spell. It is a very good spell. Midas Touch, not good. Maybe we should have taken it just uh, <laughs> to pay for getting things. Void, nope. So to Flame, nope. Yakuza card, no. Enthrallment could maybe be good, but it's like... We'd have to get really, really lucky. Just give me the fucking Ancestral Strength. Book of Gore is nice. You know what? The Demon Mask, that's another... That's another one. That's good. You can only get three items from the cult shop, so... Or the history club. So, we're gonna have to... There we go. So, I think... Um, probably can't go in there again. Okay. So, normal cigarettes gives 14... And foreign cigarettes. Uh, did I already cast the spell? Yeah, I did. Foreign cigarettes gives... We're at 31, so I think that's... Yeah, it's just 17. I don't think that's really worth. I think that's kind of mediocre. So now we got to get core strength and an ally kick girl. Okay, Kyoko works. I'm fucking retarded. Don't tell me it's fucking impossible. No. No. Okay, let me do some math. So, Ancestral Strength, Demon Mask, 2 base, we go Super Saiyan. Nicotine Rush. Oh, no, we need... We need to fucking do this without... Man, we got so fucking lucky, too. Okay. We're very close. So, Haru... We can't get the seventh curse backstory. Um, I guess what we could do is we could get the fail all events so we get a level up. I'm gonna lower the difficulty to initiate... Uh, just to increase our available Doom pool to work with, because we might have to play for a little bit with it. Alright, so to... Wow, you get so much stats. It's ridiculous. Okay. Um, the Occult Shop. Does that make sense? I don't think there's any Occult items we need. I mean, the Demon Mask, yeah, but if we're cycling through the History Club anyways... We're gonna get that just fine, probably. Uh, okay, 
A cold shop vending machine. I think that makes sense. School, the history club is absolute must. Seaside, we definitely need the illegal den. And I think we're good to go to get this achievement. Right, we got the library notes, which are pretty damn okay. I'm going to re-roll until I get core strength. Please don't take forever. Plus one damage. Um, I guess I'll get plus charisma. Then we can juice the library notes. Witness curse, mediocre. We want ancestral strength. Oh, sweet, another witness curse. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Fucking curse. Goddamn notes. Okay, whatever. Back to max reason, at least. Then, um... Let's see. I guess I'll do the eels, just because the eels are good. So, we're going to need many things. We're going to start with the History Club. Thread of Fate. Meh. Going to need the Demon Mask and also Ancestral Strength. Luckily, the History Club only gives 1% of Doom at a time. Uh, we could probably get this achievement if we like had randomized level up stuff, but I don't think that makes sense for us. Enthrallment, meh. Void, meh. Uh, you know what? I wonder if it would have been possible to get two core strengths. Eh, it feels like one of those things that probably wouldn't work. Midas touch, meh. Black hair, meh. Thread of Fate, Ritual Robe, no. Human Skull, and eh, we don't have that many spells. Absorb Black Hair. We're gonna have to go to this fucking place like a hundred goddamn times. It's so irritating. Multiply Wounds, Ritual Mask, Mind Drain, Corpse Dust, Ancestral Strength. That's thing one we need. Boom. So now we're at plus one. Uh, we can get nicotine plus two, core strength plus three. We, we need plus six bonus. So we can just continue to farm this place. It might be less doom maxi to just go for the occult shop, to be honest. Because we can look at four items as opposed to one. I'm pretty sure the demon mask can be here. Oh god, I'm not sure if the demon mask can actually be there. I might have just fucked us. Okay, whatever. Back to the history club. It should be the same thing. Ritual mask, sealed bramble, no thank you. Glass eye, ashen contract, mind drain, crystal. Black Hair, Shadow Shroud, Human Skull, Book of Gore, Skin Removal, Enthrallment, Patina Ring, Seal of Savish, again. Rock Ring, that gives strength. Rock Ring, that yeah, gives strength. Might need to grab the Gruesome Totem next time. I'm pretty sure we can grab three items. Dude, this is so fucking ass. Human Skull, Flesh Growth, Seal Bramel, Tome of Rot. We're gonna have to... Oops. Did not mean to do that. Okay, we got Student E, minus one Dexterity. Get the fuck out of my sight. Student C. 
cheaper pharmacy items. Okay. That's almost useful. Student F, minus one knowledge, you're worthless. Student A, plus one charisma. Cool. You can hang out here for with me for now, I guess. Meant to go to the monument. Minus one funds. Monument. Minus two reason. Monument. Minus three reason. I think we should complete a mystery just to... Uh... Does that make sense? Okay, we're going to get cigarettes. Okay, let me do some math. <laughs> Let's go to the illegal then. Oh, what? Hospital pass allows you to skip some encounters at the hospital. That's cool. Yeah, we're fucking stuck with Maria. Oh, this might be a fucked run. Oh, yeah, one more math check. So, strength, core strength, cigarettes, if so too. Still need two more. We're gonna have to restart. Fuck this. God damn it. Haru. Ill fated. Initiate. Boom. Ethotu, yes. Get our core strength. Boom and boom. Cool. Occult shop, I don't think really gives us anything, so I'm not gonna go for it. History club is the way to go, even though it fucked us last time. Got library notes again. Might as well juice. <gasps> yes! Fantastic! Okay, we're fucking halfway there already. Alright, might as well go for the coma one. So we need a bunch of shit to add up to plus six damage. I'm gonna try to get the demon mask again. So I think there's like 12 items. So, or I don't know, like we're rolling on this spot. I, th I think they're unironically is like 12 magic items. I'm not 100% sure. And I mean like within that ballpark. Like there's definitely... I would say there's probably less than 20. Not 100% sure, but you know what I mean? I don't think I've seen 20. Seal space. So, if there is 20 items, it's like a 5%. There we go. Got the demon mask. Just equip that. Okay, now I can go to the illegal den. Uh, I guess I'll get Ryoko. Don't know why she's in the illegal den. Iwa. Maria, come on. Okay, how close are we? So, ancestral strength, demon mask. Nicotine Rush, Core Strength. We need two more damage. How are we going to get two more damage? It's got to be allies, right? Fuck, does that mean we've got a... Alright, sorry, Iwa. It breaks my fucking heart, but... We need to cycle through allies. Uh, You know what, Ryoko... Probably less useful than Maria for us. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Why can't I get the fucking ally? What the hell? You can only get three allies, even if you fucking... Oh. Okay, let me do some more math. So you've got Demon Mask and Sensual Strength. Shouldn't have kicked Ryoko, but she wouldn't have given us kick damage anyways. She gives specifically weapon damage. So Demon Mask, Ancestral Strength, Cigarettes, Core Strength, Athotu. We need one more. 
but we can't get fucking Fujiko. Just ass. Fuck this game. God damn it. Okay. Is there any other way to get plus one damage? Uh, we could go to the forest until we get the dog event and hope we get the dog. That's uh, the best we've got. And just smoke these cigarettes now. Oh, but we can't get the dog, so we're gonna automatically fail the luck check. Guess that means we gotta restart once again. Fuck. Because we just can't get the ally. Yeah, restocking doesn't do fuck all for us. Fuck. Wasn't there a C slot item I had that gave damage? Am I high? I think I'm high. I don't think there was one. No, there's the violin I think I had equipped. Okay. Core strength? We only got after fucking... 10 million rerolls. Awesome. Got library notes again. Please ancestral strength. Ashen contract. Mm, no thanks. Shadow shroud. Eh. Ancestral strength. Okay. That's amazing. Not completely fucked yet. Guess I'll do the cape. Oh, I think they changed the art for this one. That's cool. Alright. I'm just gonna go to the illegal den to start off with. Hermit. Not a great one to start off with. You can only get three allies from this fucking place. Come on. Okay, we're off to the races. Got Kyoko. The forest wants her dead. Do you have anything interesting to say? No. Just generic lines. Missing hiker. Okay. So we're halfway there. Now we need two coal items from the history club. I think? No, we just need the demon mask. We could maybe use enthralm. Okay. I think we have everything we need, so let me just do some math. <laughs> plus one from Ancestral Strength, plus one from Demon Mask, plus one from Cigarettes, plus one from Core Strength, that's four. Then we've got Kyoko, that's five. And Thotu, that's six. Now we just need to get beat the fuck up. Uh, we can let the Monument do that for us, why not? Uh, I guess before we go there, we might as well get cigarettes as well. Alright, come on, suck my reason. Or stamina, that's fine too. You did me well, library notes. Really hoeing me out our entity. Alright, now we can just do the mystery as normal. And the first enemy we're going to have to let beat us up for quite a while, and then we're going to get the achievement. And it's going to be awesome. Alright, come on, park guest. Fucking loser. Okay, by the way, I run mod content. Uh, it shouldn't really affect you too much. I mean, there's nothing in it that, uh... Gives me plus one damage, that's for sure. Yeah, I'll donate my blood. Minus three stamina. Gets us closer to the super fighting threshold. Uh, now, if we get into combat, we can just let Hermit go, and that'll be enough. <laughs> Fuck, are we going to punch Akamanto? I guess we are. Can we survive 
Yeah, we could. Yeah, why not? I hope I did the math right. Oh, sweet. It's Time Warper. <laughs> Alright. Hermit. I can't release him right now. Okay. Well, fuck me. We absolutely just fucking rock melee damage. Alright. Hey, I command, give me that red special. Three stamina. You make me. You make my heart flutter, Akamano. Desperate struggle. Prep kick. Prep. Nope. Super kick. Uh, he's gonna kill us. I could brace Desperate Struggle for prep kick, because I want to beat him too. <laughs> there we go. Hell yes. Behold. We kick him for fucking 10 damage. He thinks he's got us on the ropes. We burned our desperate struggle. But I deliver two liver blows. Akamanto falls the ground. Blood flowing from wounds and the tall man's red coat make it, makes it look like the man was slowly melting. You hear a cackling coming from behind the mask and faint, and when you wake up, he's gone. Somehow you know he will be back, in another stall, another school, another city, continuing the horror. Got store closed, that's funny. And also, uh, I guess, leadership, because why not? Uh, I think... You decide to spend some time with your family living in a nearby town and rest. Okay. Interesting. So, do I have the achievement now? Ha! Huh. Yes. Kick box cutter. Deal 10 damage with a single kick. Unlocks box cutter item. Okay. Uh, I think I can abandon this run, then. And just, uh... I'm just gonna see what the box cutter does to finish this episode out. I know it's a little bit of a different episode, but... I'm sure there's plenty of people who want to know how to get the achievement, so... That is fine. That is whatever. Uh, which shop would the box cutter be? I could see it being in the cult shop. It makes the most sense for it to be in the hardware store, though. But I could also see it in the illegal den. I'm gonna start with the hardware store. Let's see. Are you serious? Okay, I guess it's not in the hardware store. I know why the fuck it wouldn't be in the hardware store. It's a it's a fucking thing that opens boxes. Dog treats, steak knife. Huh? Where's the dog? Okay, the dog's gone. That's creepy. <laughs> Where is this box cutter? What the fuck? One day, an unseen force directs you to the beach. 
There you see a huge group of people and recognize your friends and neighbors. You join the sacred preparations, undressing and putting a mask on your face. At midnight, the whole city will enter the water and never to return. Cool. Why are you holding out on me, dude? I know you've got a fucking box cutter. You're a hardware store. No, they don't have a fucking box cutter. Where the fuck is it? Oh, we can just look forever in this shop until we exit. Okay, whatever. What a wonderful, what a wonderful event it was. Oh yes, they say that the nobles have descended to the streets to Shiokawa to pick their meals themselves. Whoever wasn't devoured during the unearthly feast will join the shattered court and travel never to be seen again. Cool. I'm gonna Google this shit. I'm fucking triggered. Where the fuck is this box cutter? Okay, it's just not saying the quick Googling. I'll give it one more loop, but I'm probably going to cut it out of the video if I don't find it. I do have the achievement still, right? Oh, you know what it might be, actually? Come to think of it. It might be a item that's only in the fucking Fear Festival. Which would be pretty AIDS, but there's other items like that, so it would make sense. Probably also makes sense with the Rusty Sickle as well. So Lucky Earrings, Taiyaki, Map Pancakes, Happy Coat, Prayer Beads, Faster Spiritual Actions. Never saw that before. It's cool. Bottle of Milk. Cool. Oh, you can't boop this one. Ah, uh, no, I think you have to find the box cutter. I don't think it just comes naturally. Because clearly this list of items in the shop's not that good. Or not that big. Because we're seeing the same things over and over. Okay, whatever. Apparently... I must be a dumb fuck, because I haven't found it. It must be a random item. It is what it is. Anyways, I'm just going to do an intro now. <laughs> Today we got the kickbox cutter. It was a little bit of a pain to figure out how to do it. Very heavy on the RNG. You basically have to do what I did, I think, and just go for it super duper hard. So I don't think it's very easy to just naturally bump into all the things uh, to get the achievement. And it costs just an absolute metric fuck ton of doom too, so it doom any normal ass run, that's for sure. But still, it was a cool one. It got a box cutter, which appears that you just can't buy anywhere, so it must be like a random object you'll get. Which I guess makes sense. Uh, there's certain events like uh, search the room and shit like that where you get like a random item. And I think this is probably one of those items. If I had to guess. Or maybe I just got like so super duper 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 unlucky that I just never found a thing. Oh, there's a little achievement. Added an ally limit to prevent crashes. Okay. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you next time for more World of Horror. Goodbye!